Here at Local 5, we've been keeping up with different school districts quarantining already this school year from the coronavirus. As parents, we expect the school to be able to handle this pandemic safely. Local 5's Lake and McGee spoke with a Waukee school nurse on extra measures being taken this school year. School nurses are usually the quiet heroes in the hallways, but this year they're stepping up their game as there's added layers of concern of going back to school because of the pandemic. Yep, that's me going into kindergarten. This is what we used to see on social media on the first day back to school. But this year, this is how many students will be attending face masks and all nervous or scared at all because of COVID. You know, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous. Nurse Joe is the lead nurse for the Waukee School District where masks or face shields are required. She says if a child comes to school showing COVID-19 symptoms, they have a plan. You know, we've got two areas in our health offices now, and this is required for us to have one area for the day to day traffic, because like I said, we're still going to have the kids that come in for the normal health office routines and then one another separate area where we put those kids that may possibly have symptoms of COVID and something new this year. We had a parent reach out to us saying their child has asthma and you can't use nebulizers this school year. Is this correct? Correct. The CDC says aerosol linked to nebulizers is believed to transport the virus. If it's a day that you think your kid is going to be a ne need a nebulizer treatment, Please just keep them home that day. The district is also asking that every family have several emergency okay. contacts so that at any point a student can be picked up from the school within 30 minutes and in case of a breakout. That's why we're doing everything that we're doing to keep everybody safe. But are we ready in the event that we need to? Yes. If there were an outbreak, Nurse Joe tells me they do have plans, whether it be a classroom, an entire grade or a whole building when it comes to quarantining. Reporting in Waukee, Lake and McGee, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. And we also reached out to the Des Moines School District since they are going 100% online. We wanted to know what the nurses will be doing there. We learned the full-time nurses will remain on staff to still help families. Part-time nurses will have opportunities to seek additional hours later in the school year.